Okay, now that we know about transformations, let's actually do some. And first, let's start with translations. Let's do a quick review on what a translation is. It's where you move every point in the figure the same distance in the same direction. And we talked about notation, so let's review that. We can use a capital T with some subscript, and the subscript, the first thing in the subscript, in this case the negative 2, tells you which way to move your x-coordinates of your points, and the second thing in the subscript tells you which way to move your y-coordinates. Then you can also use coordinate notation, again telling you which way to move left and right and which may, way to move up and down by adding or subtracting to your x and y coordinates of each point of your figure. And then one last way, which we haven't talked about, is uh, vector notation. In vector notation, you are just given a ray on a coordinate plane. You have a, a, an initial point, which is the end point of your ray, and you have a terminating point, which is the arrow of your ray. And starting from the end point of your ray, or your initial point, you're going to count to the right or left. And that tells you which way and how many to move your x coordinates of your figure. And then you're going to count up or down to you, your terminating part of your vector, which is the arrow. And that will tell you how much up or down you need to move your figure. Okay, or the y values of your coordinates on your figure. On your figure, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so this particular one tells us to move my figure to the right 4 and down 2. All right, let's try one of these. If I have coordinate notation, the first thing I'm going to do, if it's not already graphed for me, is I'm going to graph my original or my pre-image. And then remember, to get my image, I have to, in this particular case, subtract 4 from each x value and add 2 to each y value. So if I did that to my a to get a prime, I would get negative 3, 4. If I did that to b, I would get negative 1, 5. And notice I'm plotting a prime, b prime as I go, c prime, and d prime. And then I just draw my figure. So I have translated using coordinate notation. Now, I might have this type of notation with a capital T, and this particular one um, is telling me to move left and down. Well, first, let's graph our original, and then, remember, the first one says, here's how you change your x value. The second one in the subscript tells you how to change your y value. So let's take our a coordinate or our a point and figure out our new coordinates by subtracting 3 from both and plotting that point and then our b and then our c naming it a prime b prime c prime and that is how I have translated that triangle. And then the last one we're going to look at here is vector notation. Now notice I don't have any coordinates at all on this. I just have a figure in the plane and a translation vector. So I'm going to look at the terminating point of my vector. I mean, excuse me, the end point of my vector and say, hey, this is telling me to go to the right 3 and down 3. So I'm going to take each point of my figure, move to the right 3, down 3. Move to the right 3, down 3. And I have my new translated image. Now, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll actually do the translation, and then I'll ask you to write a rule for it. So if I was going to write a rule for this translation in coordinate notation, it would look something like this. To the right, x plus 3, and down, y minus 3. All right, and the very last thing that you're going to be doing is given a translation rule, 
I would like you to find the pre-image if the image is 6, 8. So I'm giving you the rule and the image. So I'm and asking you to find the pre-image. Here's how you would do that. You would take your rule and say, hey, my rule, if I applied the rule, I'm going to get 6. So what was x before that? And then you just solve for x. And same with y. Hey, if I applied this rule, I would have gotten 8. So what is my y before the rule? It was 11. So 411 was my pre-image point. All right, I think you're ready for your homework.